I am Brandon Bodman. I am a certified rigger. The rigger's responsibilities are to inspect the rigging, determine its working capacity, and to properly attach it to the load. Here, I will explain a few major considerations for inspecting the rigging. One, knots and kinks reduce capacity by 50%. Here you have a rope, there is a knot in it, the capacity is reduced by 50%. You are not allowed to use this for rigging. Two, hooks must have a hook latch. Here is an example of a hook with no hook latch, therefore you are not able to use this for rigging. Three, no loops with U-bolts. Here is a loop. There are U-bolts within this loop, therefore you are not able to use this for rigging. Four, no tears or frays in slings. Here's an example of a sling. It is torn and frayed along the edges, therefore you are not allowed to use that sling for rigging. Five, grade eight or T steel only. Here's an example of a hook with a hook latch. And it is not grade eight or T steel, so you are not allowed to use this in rigging. We have the final six, no bolted together or welded together. We have an example right here. There's a bolt, therefore it is not kosher for rigging. Thank you, Brandon Bachman.